The Twitch channel dashboard is a home to a lot of a lot of different stuff that help us streamers out there to make our streaming experience a lot a lot a lot and a lot more smoother. Um, so uh, that is why I'm today going to be going through exactly how you can use and set up your very own uh, Twitch da channel dashboard so you can start streaming uh, with uh, the best experience as possible. So if you do find any anything in this video helpful, then make sure to hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel with the bell notifications on to not miss a single video from me because I make videos just like this one to help you guys out all the time so you're, if you're not subscribing then you're missing out a lot I, I promise you uh, both of that so let's get straight into the video now the first question is obviously how do I get to my twitch channel dashboard well first off you want to go to twitch.tv and log into your account which you've probably figured out by now um, then you go look at your right upper hand corner and press on your profile picture this will take you to or it'll pop, take a look to a little pop-up and basically click on creator dashboard now this is obviously your channel dashboard so if we click on that it will take you here um to well now there are a lot of different stuff that your brain has to process um but don't worry i'm gonna go through everything here um so you can start streaming with a very very good customized channel dashboard all right so the first thing i want to point out is that you actually can customize it to however you want it so for example if this activity feed if you don't if you want to like move it around or something you can move it or if you want to make is smaller for some reason you can make it smaller like this by dragging um really cool actually very good um that it's very good at twitch has made is because um some people maybe don't like the actual the default customization that twitch has pre-made um so then you know you can just change it to however you like it so if it's your style but i'm gonna have it on a default one because then it's much much more easier to explain to you guys so you have over here at activity feeds obviously you can see your recent events and re your recent activities on your channel um so this is cool actually so you know what's happening in your channel so you can thank the people that are you know you know contributing to your channel now that in my chat this is like obviously just your chat um that is they basically copy and pasted it into the uh, dashboard so you, so you don't have to go to actual to your actual twitch channel um just to see your chat so for example here if uh, here you'll you'll display your live chat now you, if there are three dots over here and you can actually click on that and uh use your chat obviously this is what people that are in your chat um just like it is in the normal twitch channel like we can see here i'm gonna show you just uh as we can check over here um but anyways you can also add a pop-up uh, instead of this chat and what, what what this will do it basically will do like this so your chat will pop up like this and you can put it wherever you want maybe you want it to have it here instead of down here or you can drag it to your other screen or something um this is all up to you if you want to have the chat as a pop-up or if you just want it to be a part of your channel dashboard now well the rest of all is like you can change some settings here um in your some moderation settings in here in chat settings like for example if it should be a most only chat or subscriber only etc but here we come to the actual really spicy thing here with the dashboard that actually actually will help up help help out with your stream a lot and when I, when i say a lot i really mean a lot because if we look here at quick actions we you can see if we click on the plus button here there will be a big 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 selection of different quick actions or shortcuts that you can add to your channel so it basically if you um i'm gonna just take a random one here if we add a follower only chat we add that to the quick actions tab if we enable this we just click on it then followers only will be activated in one click as we see it right here and this is honestly amazing because this will fasten our process when you're streaming and we want to change something uh, whilst uh, we are live we can just click on the one thing uh, we can just use one click and the thing will will be changed or will be added so that's awesome um f if we look over here we, we got some uh, there, there are different tabs that will direct you through all, all these different quick actions or shortcuts so here at the manage stream one you can add a stream marker um add a stream marker with description you can uh this is this one that i i, I suggest that you have you can clip uh, like basically clip uh something with only one click so i'm gonna add that uh over here edit stream information I, i'd also recommend you to have that because then if you click on that it will you it will basically take you to the uh, little, little pop-up with everything that you need to change your stream info for example here the title 
the go live notifications category audience etc so um, you can just click, click on done and everything will be saved now I'm not gonna go through every single shortcut because because that will th then the video will be like 20 minutes long or something so I'm just gonna go through the most important ones that I, I think are important so here we have host channel you can just uh, if we add it you can just click and click there and um, I research or take one from your follow, follow followers list and then click on host then you'll basically host that channel if you are a twitch affiliate or partner under here uh, under the monetize your stream tab you can actually add a different ad break uh, shortcut so for example if you want different time the ad breaks uh, when you maybe I don't know when you go to toilet you want a very long ad break and when you just want to are, are gonna get a glass of water and you want a pre pretty short ad break so for example then you can add maybe a 60 second ad break Ad break or a 120 second ad break and a 30 second ad break um, one for the bit longer one uh, one for a bit longer intermission and one for the, the a bit shorter intermission mission and then basically when you go live you, you will just be able to click on this or uh, click on the shortcuts uh, which one you ever which whichever you want and it will start r running a ad for uh, all your viewers out there but just keep in mind that after you have it run an ad uh, it will be a certain time that you can't run ads again uh, and after that time is over you, it will, I think it will say it somewhere uh, around here uh, after that time is over then you will be able to add, run an ad again now that's all the shortcuts that I'm gonna go through in today's video but you can feel free to search around uh, around these these all shortcuts and you maybe will find one that real, really will help you out um, but it, um, one thing that I forgot to mention is I there is a stream preview so whenever you're live it will be a stream preview over here uh, you don't actually need to have this because if this slow that slows down your stream um, by then you can just pause the Pause the preview basically. One last thing is that you actually click on the pencil icon over here, edit tabs and panels. You will see here edit the stream manager layout. Now, this is obviously a tab where you can quickly add and change some stuff with uh, your with your layout and customization of your dashboard. So, for example, you can add some different stuff, uh, some, some different panels by just cl clicking this pl plus button. So, if you want to add, I don't know, active mods, then click on plus and the plus button, and it will see over here active mods of those who are active active connection to a chat uh, we can see here who's active and who's not active um, you can also add a lot of different stuff over here you can remove these tabs if you don't want to see them by simply clicking on, on the cross button when to feel like you can really play around and once you're done you click on done this was a very in-depth video to show you guys how you can set up and use your the, the twitch dashboard uh, it's a bit it's a bit outdated or because the twitch dashboard has been here for like a year or so but it, i just wanted to let you guys know about this um, because it's, it's definitely worth checking out and using because uh, Twitch it really gives you guys an opportunity by make by making this dashboard. So if you guys have any questions, then make sure you drop them in the comment section down below. Leave a like in the video if this helps, and consider as I said before, consider subscribing to your channel with the bell notifications on to not miss a single video from me. Uh, with that said, see you next video. Starks out.